Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So, in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've seen, you know, in the manosphere where guys are like, uh, they'll say men are success objects. And basically what that means is, is that women are going to want to fuck you and want you because you're successful. So they're like, yo, get your money up, get successful, then you're going to get girls, right? Guys, it's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of fucking bullshit. See, a woman's going to want to have sex with you if she's sexually attracted to you. See, guys who don't have experience fucking a lot of women, they don't understand why a woman wants to actually have sex. So they come up with stupid shit and say, well, you know, you're a success object. You got to get money and you got to get all these things and then girls are going to want to fuck you. Right? This is the thing. If you're successful, if you have money... Chicks will have sex with you, but they're only having sex with you as like a secondary thing. Meaning, they may not even want to have sex with you, but because you have money, they say, well, I'll have sex with him because he has money so I can get something in, ex you know, in, in exchange for giving him the sex. Right? See, what a lot of guys don't understand is, is that when it comes to you having success, you having money, you having all this other stuff in order to get women... That's more of a beta thing. You understand? So it's more of the providing and protecting thing, right? So she doesn't necessarily want to have sex with you, but she wants your resources. Which is why the successful man, he has those resources that she wants, but she's not looking at him in any type of sexual way. You understand? But see, guys who really have experience fucking with chicks... They understand that chicks want the dick. Listen, I was fucking girls when I was like 20, 21 years old, living with my mom. And I was sharing a bedroom with my, my little brother. So whenever I had chicks come over, I tell my little brother, look, I need his room. He get out the room and I fuck the chick. What success did I have living with my mom and I was broke? What about all these, you know, dudes out here fucking all these chicks they don't got a dime to their name. All these bums out here doing this shit, huh? How? If the man is a success object, how in the fuck are these unsuccessful guys fucking like crazy and you have all these successful guys who can't get shit? You see all these dudes going to these uh, PUA uh, boot camps? These dudes are successful. These dudes got money. It costs like, what, $7,000, sometimes $10,000 to go to these damn boot camps? You understand? And, and you're thinking that the success is what's going to make a chick be drawn to you? See, what you guys are going to say is this. Uh, 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 a woman, her ideal type of guy is a guy who is who she's sexually attracted to. And he has, you know, success. So he can protect and provide and all the other shit if she wants that long-term relationship. Right? But you have a lot of women who are married to men who they don't even like. You understand? This is why you hear, um, you know, like situations where, like a guy will say, you know, I got married and, you know, I haven't been having sex. Like me and my wife don't have sex like that. Why does she not have, like having sex like that? Because she's not sexually attracted to him. That guy's successful as fuck, but she don't want to fuck him. You understand? So the, the ideal type of guy for these women would be the guy who they're sexually attracted to, but also can protect and provide, which is the success and the money. Sometimes they can't get a guy who has all those traits, so they'll settle for the success. But she doesn't want to fuck him, though. That's the thing that you guys got to understand. She doesn't want to have sex with that guy. So all of you guys thinking this, you're going to be out there trying to get successful for women like get get successful for yourself but don't think that your success is going to automatically get you women you understand see the thing that makes women gravitate to you in a sexual manner is if you have sex appeal you understand and so the sex appeal is the thing that's going to make the woman want to fuck you so look guys are not success objects Guys are, guys are sex objects to women. But you won't be a sex object to women if you don't have any sex appeal. 
That's the, that's the actual thing. But you guys thinking that your success is the thing that makes women, like, like a woman is not seeing a guy and, be, and, getting, and her panties isn't getting wet because he has a good job. You understand what I'm saying? Her panties are not getting wet because, you know, he owns some company. You understand? It's not, it's not happening. She'll, she'll say, I'll fuck that guy so that he can give me some of his money. But she don't want to fuck him. She's not objectifying his success. You understand? See, when a woman wants to fuck you and wants to have sex with you, she's doing so because she finds you sexually appealing. Not successfully appealing. So all you guys out there like, yo, once I get my money up, I'm going to start getting these bitches. Once I no, it's not going to happen. Once I get my shit together, I get this house. It's not going to happen. Because you're going to be a guy who has no game with a nice house. A guy who has no game with a nice car. A guy who has no game with a lot of money. You understand? So, you know, you can waste your time and think that, you know, you can just sit on your ass and, 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 and sort of like, well, I'm not going to learn anything about attractive women. I'm just going to sit here and my success is going to bring me the ass. Unless you're literally paying for pussy, it, it, it ain't, it ain't going to fucking work for you. You understand what I'm saying? Like, guys, you have to wake up from this bullshit. See, dudes, uh, dudes who don't really have enough game to get women to want to have sex with them, cons you know, consistently, those are the guys who believe that it's a, it's a success thing. Well, you know, we're success objects and that's why they want us. So I got to get all this shit to get the girl. You understand? When you're fucking in a girl, right? You are putting your dick inside this chick. And she starts getting excited. She starts, you know, having orgasms, all that other shit. What that got to do with your success? Seriously, what does that have to do with your success? It don't make no fucking sense. So listen, guys, that's, you know, that's all I really wanted to say about that. But listen, remember, I got the Bad Boy membership sale from now up until the 31st of May. You got a few days left. Make sure you guys join the Bad Boy membership. You're going to get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day audiobook free, 60 Second Game book free, and the Bad Boy book for free. All right? So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm out of here. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone.